My name is Don Morgan. I am a licensed amateur radio operator. This is a presentation of the AB3BO amateur radio station with the ICOM IC207H UHF VHF transceiver. This is a dual band radio. It transmits on 2 meters and 70 centimeters in the FM mode. In the United States it receives 118 to 174 megahertz and 440 to 450 megahertz. On 2 meters it can transmit at 50 watts on down to 5 watts. On 70 centimeters it can transmit at 35 watts on down to 5 watts. I believe ICOM started making the 207H in the 1995 to 1996 date range. This model has been out of production for a number of years. This is one of three I purchased over the years off of eBay. One I use in the shack, one I was using in my car when I was going to and from work, and then I have a third unit that I had in, have in the RV camper, and I use that camping during the summertime. One of the features that I like about this radio is the microphone. The microphone has pretty good control features. There's a plastic cover that goes over the front of the microphone, but I don't use that plastic cover. The radio in the shack is powered by a Kenwood PS-52 22 amp power supply. Like the radios, this power supply was purchased off of eBay. The antenna port on the back of the radio connects to the antenna using 65 feet of Times Microwave LMR 400 coax cable. The coax cable feeds this Workman OPEC EVS 200 antenna. It's a 144-440 megahertz dual band antenna. In the AB3BO amateur radio station, the IC207H uses an external speaker. There is an external speaker jack on the back of the radio and it connects up to this old phonograph bookshelf speaker. While the speaker lives on, the old phonograph died about 25 years ago. This is a basic diagram of the AB3BO amateur radio station with the ICOM IC207H. The setup is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's nothing very special about it. It works out very nice. I enjoy and get a lot of use out of the system. I should mention that the back of the radio also has a data port on it for digital communications. I have never really used the digital communications portion on uh, VHF, UHF. I do want to mention that I find amateur radio a very enjoyable hobby. I actually started by studying it and achieved my technician license back in the fall of 2002. I owe a great deal of thanks to the Baltimore Amateur Radio Club. They helped me by providing a training course for the technician license. So I would encourage anybody who's interested in amateur radio or is wondering about amateur radio, you might want to consider getting into the hobby. Take a look, do some research, and uh, you might want to consider getting into the hobby. It's very enjoyable, very fun. There's so much to the hobby. I've been in the hobby since 2002 and I've only scratched the surface on what can be done in the hobby. If you have any further questions about the AB3BO amateur radio station or the ICOM IC207H, check us out at King's Roll Production, Words and Images by Don. You can leave comments at that website. The address is here on the screen, and I'll leave the address in the comments so you can click and go over there. You can leave comments over there on the website, or you can leave comments here on the video. There is some more information over on the website about this setup, so you might want to check that out. I do want to give much thanks to ICOM, Microsoft, Workman, Times Microwave, Google, and the wonderful team here at King's Rule Production for their help in putting this presentation together. Until next time, take care. See you later.